we often get the question exactly what is taught in phonetic reading with silent elephant E. And we always want to say the whole enchilada. But we say everything that a preschooler to college age learner needs to know to become a successful, competent, confident reader, writer, and speller. But we also realize that that doesn't actually say the most important thing about phonetic reading with silent elephant E, and that is that every concept is taught through active, imaginative engagement that ensures learning for everyone, including dyslexic learners and those with other learning differences. Here's an example. This poster, this poster is a very important part of part three of Silent Elephant E, short vowels. It's the way phonetic reading with Silent Elephant E introduces short E by making enchiladas. Tasting, eating, comparing with other foods, talking about what they like, maybe what they didn't like. They can even make them in clay. But because they are cooking and comparing and tasting, they are and talking about them, they are have an immediate connection with eh. 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 Because we connect the word and the shape of the enchilada. Eh, eh, eh. They will never forget this experience of enchiladas and short E because they have done these activities with them that have created pathways in their brain and they will never forget. They will always have it active in their brain. Every single concept is introduced this way in phonetic reading with silent elephant E in a way that will instantly create meaning and connection and instantly begins the learning process and ensures the learning process. This is for every one of your children. Phonetic reading with silent elephant E is for all of your children, especially your dyslexics.